would y'all have the same blowback if she was white? Well, I haven't seen it yet. Let me um Just watch let, the video then. Yeah, let me pull up the video real quick. Hold on. Let me see. Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh what's her name? Angel Reese. All right, let me get that queued up. Let me see if I can put that up. All right, let me see. Your connection better, Q. Mm hmm I stopped the video, that's why. Uh, I'm trying to get on my download editing type of thing like you. <laughs> Angel Reese and Haley Van Lith, and we'll open with comments from the coach. Thank you. I don't want to hear no coach. Angel, I know it hurts now, but you had mentioned just kind of what a wild ride this team has been on for the last year. Can you kind of describe what it's meant to you, what it's been like for you, both the, the positives and the, you know, the negatives? Yeah, we, 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 we've seen everything this year. Um, we have been through so much adversity. So I'm more than proud of this team. Um, we don't have that much debt. We had some injuries, some time. I took some time away from the team. Um, so many things happened this year and so many things hit us and we never folded. And just being able to come out tonight and give our all for 40 minutes, we didn't. We came up short, but we, 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 we have to keep our heads high. Andrea Adelson with- Are they the sniffing and crying because they lost? No, I think she was sick. They, they probably was crying. I think they had, they lost though. They got, they got- Yeah, they, got, they did lose, they did lose. Right. ESPN for Angel, we saw the game. And I mean, I'm tough, so I tried to play through it, of course, and this is something that has been going on for a little while now, but I played through it, and I'm not going to make that an excuse um, for the rest of my play for the game. Go ahead. Uh, Michael Cobble, WBRZ TV in Baton Rouge for Haley and for Flage. Just what a tough cover Caitlin is. I mean, obviously you were fighting all night, but uh, just the challenge that, that she presents. She hit some tough shots. She's a real bad. I don't want to hear this. The eyes and really take on that challenge. Um, just try to force her to her. She put on both ends. Bro, let me tell you something. Everybody can have their opinion on Angel Reese, uh, but y'all don't know her. Like y'all don't know Angel Reese. I know Angel Reese. I know the real Angel Reese. And the person I see every day is a strong person. Is a caring, loving person, bro. The crown she wear is heavy, bro. She's the type of teammate that's gonna make you believe in yourself. Why? Why do they talk like hood chicks? Like, what is? Why is everything bro and yo and all? I don't this. know where that girl is from. What's her name? I guess she one of her teammates. Yeah, she is. No, she is. She's she was good too. But what is all of this like, bro stuff? I don't know what all of this I don't even bro like stuff. women's basketball. I'm gonna say this. I don't even like watching women's basketball, but the collegiate level, them on um, this year, I think they had the highest watch viewers this year out yeah. of men's and women's. Like, I'm gonna say this. This the women's has been better than the men's for this year, but yeah. no, it really has. People have said that. I haven't said that. I've seen other people say that. Now, come on, Q. You know they just hyping it up because they trying to get some visibility for women's basketball. I mean, this is collegiate, though. It's not. I mean, I've seen interviews with people, Shannon and all them. They're saying the same thing. Like, it's not I me. think it's all cap. Listen, listen. Okay. Women's basketball is trash all across the board. It, it is. I think that the collegiate level is way better than the WNBA. Like, well, that's because year, they hyping up Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Is that their name, Caitlin Clark? Well, it's it's more of them. It's more it's other players. Like I think uh, the USC played. They had one player on there. UConn had one player. Like it's not just these girls. Like these players have way better than whatever the WNBA be doing. <sighs> well, let's see. I only want to see Angel Reese. So. I get to be around her prep into her life. I've never lived. Outkick.com. Angel, do you have any thoughts on your uh, future plans in basketball? I'll make a decision when I'm ready. Uh, Jacques, do you say WAP TV in Baton Rouge? Do, do you need the players? The third quarter, what, what do you think kind of went wrong there? It seems like your little snake bit balls just rolled off the rim and some tough turnovers and so forth. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And I feel like I'm Ryan Den. <laughs> 
Ben Pickman from The Athletic. Um, this is for Flage and Angel. It seemed like, Angel, when you fouled out, you walked over to the sideline and you put your arm around Flage and Flage put your arm around you. Yeah, just mm -hmm. telling her just to keep leading the team um, and don't give up and keep fighting. I mean, Flage has done a great job when I'm down or not having my best game, being able to have a player like a teammate like Flage as a sophomore, only a sophomore, step up and just lead the team. And through everything, she's led the team throughout the whole year. So we've had that relationship and just being able to talk to her in that moment was great. Yeah, she was just, just like the said, she was just holding me accountable. You know, I was telling her. This question yeah. meets right here on the dais. Just taking the, the opportunity to, to really stand up for you and, and what your journey has been like that we don't get to see. I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like, I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong. Hold on, hold on. What does that mean to be sexualized? What does that mean, Q? I'm guessing, like, I don't know. They're fawning over her body, leaving sexual comments. You know, I don't, I don't know. Sending her stuff, but I, I the death threats is crazy. I, I know when I was on when I was on Twitter, like a couple of days prior, like I saw some hateful stuff toward her. Even though, like, I've seen her act out like you know they're when you're playing you're more aggressive but then i've seen other players white players do the same thing and people weren't going as hard so like so well like, you're I more got, popular no no caitlin's popular too that no right. caitlin is, is a way better player white more aggressive doing the same type of hand movements but she doesn't get like the blowback like she but does. She talk as much shit. Uh, somebody in the chat said, I think it's Quinn. Quinn said LSU um, stayed in during the national anthem. And then a lot of these chicks be on Sports Illustrated naked and stuff like that. Like, I'm trying to figure out, is it warranted as far as like, because, you know, it's the, all. The, almost reminds me, well, no, no, no. I'm talking about the sexualized part. Like, it almost reminds me of. If a chick goes out and she wears something super, super revealing and then she get mad at guys for trying to talk to her, it's like, well, what did you think was going to happen? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know nothing about the sexualization. I don't know. See, the thing is that she says that, but she doesn't go into detail, right? So mm -hmm. we don't know. We don't probably people didn't even know she was getting death threats. Her getting death threats is crazy. Like, I don't even care about the sex. But the, the everybody get death threats. I got some. No, Anton, come on. I'm not saying that it's right, Q, but I'm telling you, everybody that has a level of visibility get crazy people that come at them. Okay. I'm not even nowhere near remotely as popular as them, and I get people coming at me all day long. I mean, people threaten to pull up to my crib. People pet, threaten my daughter. They threaten my wife. They threaten all of that. I deal with that shit on a regular basis, so if I deal with it, I know that anybody that have any level of visibility get some hate shit that come at them. Well, some people don't have tough skin. Like, they just want to go out there, do their job, and come back. Nobody no, they don't. I don't believe that, Q. Some people don't want to get the like the heart when it comes to. That's why I said not everybody's built to be famous. Not everybody's built to have attention. You yeah, but they leveraging it in order to get the money. True, but not everybody's built to be in the spotlight. Like, not people really don't know what it might come from being famous. Like. I I think that is it is unfortunate because I do call out these goofies. I was just showcasing a dude that was doing it on a Millionaire Morning Show the other day. Um, you know, and he was mad because I didn't give him a coaching call. But on the flip side, though, it come with the territory and people get rich off this shit. So I understand that the death threats and stuff is wrong and I'm never going to validate that. But the criticism and the sexualization, man, come on, man. They leveraging that junk and they getting rich off of it all day, every day. I, you're right. She's getting paid more than some of these, most of these WNBA players. So you're yep. right. Yep. You're, you're definitely right. But it's like, 
some people aren't built for that. Nobody wants to wake up and get some death threats or get people spamming your social media account. Like some people don't know how to separate the two. And you know, women, we're more emotional. We kind of feed into social media. She might read all her comments. Like, yeah, just you got to cut that junk off. She need people yeah. around her. She need people around her to make some, you know, help her and make some adjustments. But um, like I said, I don't agree with the th the death threats. But at the same time, man, I don't feel sorry for these people that be getting rich and famous to plan. Yeah. Well, man, listen, you your life is good. Your life is great. Your life yeah. is great. Is somebody out here right now that's working in a dark fucking warehouse that's getting a getting yelled at and they about to get kicked out of their crib and you are very, very blessed. And again, I'm I'm mindful of it, but you gotta understand that you signed up for this. This is the thing that you wanted to do and this is what comes with it. Yeah. And I don't think she was using that as an excuse. Like her interview, she wasn't using her getting hurt as an excuse. She wasn't using everything that pe she was just saying, you know what? I go on with, I get so much stuff that you guys don't know what's going on with my life. I don't mm. think she was using that as an excuse at all. That's fair. Let me see what else she got to say. Let me rewind this. This over-sexualization junk, I don't know about all that though. That stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore. And, and nobody trips out on, and let me just say this, nobody trips out on guys. Nobody trips out on guys when guys be going through stuff. Nobody. But we got a soft spot for women. Oh, my God. Well, who got a soft spot? We're just, she's just telling people. She broke she's crying. Side. She crying. You lost a big game. Anton, no, you, no, Anton no. you've never played sports, have you? I've cried. I did. I've cried. I did. Okay, so I've cried losing some games too. Especially this might be her last time playing with LSU. That's a big game. If you if you really competitive and this is a hype game, this is basically a rematch of last year's championship. You know, a loss a loss is hurtful. <laughs> But is she crying about losing the game or is she crying about the criticism that she's getting from people? No, I think see, the way that I'm that. translating it is that she's is she's partly crying from the criticism that she's getting from people. Yeah, to be passionate about the game is completely different. But see, but see again, I'm translating it differently because her her teammates ain't crying. So I'm thinking that it comes from because her teammates is defending her. Oh my God, y'all don't know the real her, the real her. So I'm thinking that she's crying because she's getting overly criticized. For not winning or for for people coming at her. No, no, I don't think so. No, if you watch the whole interview that the the reporters were asking everybody questions, like Haley, Haley played horrible. She should have been crying because she played horribly. Like how you transfer, you're supposed to stop Caitlin and you let her score 40 points, right? It wasn't her fault, but it's like she's crying like basically – Sometimes when you the key person of a team and you get a loss, sometimes it's a big blame. Like you lost it for everybody. Like Man, I don't listen, think she was I think they need because... to put their big girl pants on. This is the oh shit they call on it. They keep talking about we need to be paid similarly to men and that guys yeah. deal with this shit all day, every day. All Anton, day, and they cry day. too when they lose games. What are you talking about? I Who, see LeBron and we, and, and we get on them too. Okay, so and they get on them play. too, and, and nobody complains about. It. They get on no. LeBron. They could say no. they say he le flop. They say a lot of stuff. Flopping. They no listen. LeBron get LeBron get people coming at him twenty four hours a day, okay. seven days a week. Okay, seven days a week. Let me get Quentin up here. But men cry too, so it's okay. It's okay if these people cry because they lost the game. That's I don't think she's crying because she just lost the game, Q. Yes, because you didn't even watch the whole interview. That's why. I'm we we reacting to it in real time. No, but you're skipping parts. You're skipping what other players no, no, are saying. Right, I am because some other hoes is boring. Yeah, exactly. So you can't say hoes, then be like, you can't put your two cents if you're skipping parts because she could have cried at something that what's her she name? She was crying cried? from the very beginning, Q. Because they just lost, Anton. Oh my god! I would cry too. Fouled out. So dang, I fouled out. I I lost it for my team because I fouled out. Like you don't know what this girl is thinking completely at all. 
Quinn, what do you think about this, sir? Uh, I, I hate this hole more than any woman on the face of the planet. <laughs> It's just, just like she looks like, like white women. Let's just say no, that. No, that's that's not true. Ooh. Like, just the way she plays the game, like the whole game, she was talking shit. Like, okay, oh, women are, see, women, women are emotional. Crazy. They don't talk shit. Like, the, I'm we sorry, those talk- white girls don't act like her. Like, they're you're, you're braggadocious. Lying. They're they they don't they don't they you're don't lying. they don't they don't yell and scream in people's face. They they don't do that. You're and they, lying. And, they shook, and, and, and they're contrite when they won. Like when they won, they went over there and shook their hands. What did LSU did last year when they won? They was fucking rude as shit. That's why no, people don't rock with them. Quinn, okay, Quinn. And you so can't. And you can't just say it's a. You can't. You can't just say it's a black thing because South Carolina don't act like that either, and they're a whole I'm black not, team. So, so you can't say it's a black thing. thing. I'm not. Saying, it's I'm it's not ghetto. Black... It's ghetto bitches from LSU thing. That's what the fuck <laughs> it is. Okay, so when Caitlyn talks crap. She goes like this. She goes like you're a little player. Okay, the what's wrong with that? Thing. That's not talking crap. Those are gestures. She talks she crap talks in people's faces. Too. She talks okay. crap in people's faces. Okay, so they, go, they saw go her go going the, la- the last game that she played in the in the handshake line. She called somebody out. Take that bitch. They showed it on TV. Caitlyn ain't never did no shit like that on social media. This oh. bitch talks shit. Not Caitlyn. You don't watch this shit. You're caping for some black hoes because you're black. No, I'm, and I'm not. not gonna let you get away no, with I'm that not. shit. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. But you need to go on Twitter, right? I don't need to go, go on Twitter. On... I have the internet. I have the internet. Go, I watch go this on shit. Twitter and look up, look up Caitlyn um's attitudes regarding games. So someone on Twitter or TikTok broke it down. Like I'm not biased. I don't really care about women's basketball. I'm looking at both parties and saying, okay, Caitlyn does this. Um, Reese does this. Why is it a problem that Reese does it? But well, when Caitlyn does it, she talks too much. Okay. That's what it is. She talks too much. So, so, so Quentin, what are you? So basically, oh, what you're saying, Quentin, is that she get the energy that she put out. Correct. And if you look and outside the basket, that. if you look outside the basketball lines. Caitlyn don't say shit. This bitch be on the social medias running her fucking mouth all damn day. Her okay, coach so called her out on it. Okay. On, the, on the court, she plays, she talks crap, and she can handle the shit talking right back to her. I, I just I just took it outside the, the basketball line so we can so I can level set. No, but that's what Anton asked. So if someone dishes it back to her on the court, she can handle it. Okay, why is she crying then? She crying because she got humbled. She that's why she's crying. Game. She Quinn, nigga. have you played sports? Not middle school sports. Let, let, let's just say, have nigga, you played don't play, nigga. I, nigga, I fucking walked on a UCO university and played D two football. Don't fuck with me, homie. Okay, so have you ever <laughs> cried losing a game? Of course, I I cried. Oh, okay. So immediately you're, you're after the game. Kid. Immediately you're after the game, and, and, and it was and it was over. She's crying because oh, okay. she got humbled. She didn't start crying until her teammate took up for her. She's not crying because she lost the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. She was sniffling prior to that if you look at the interviews, but go ahead. Oh, oh okay. So let me play it. Let me play some of this and then and then because I haven't seen it yet. I'm reacting. I'm seeing it for the first time. Because I purposely myself. didn't watch it. I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. Is it a possibility that she exaggerating? We don't know. We can't assume. We don't know. Uh, About the sexualized part, there's pictures of her in in the nude. I guess she got some kind of sugar massage and her naked body's on a massage table. Getting a sugar massage, like nigga, you sexualize yourself. All the half naked pictures you post on the on the in, on the internet. She got a photo shoot with um with um Sports Illustrated swimsuit. What you mean? Mm. Okay, what nigga, about you can say parts? no. You can say no. You can say no. Okay, what about the other parts? I, well, I hold on, let me play it. 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 I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time, and I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and like not be there for them. So I just want to always just know, like I'm still a human. Like all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. 
and it sucks, and, but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything, and I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me, and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you, but keep being who you are. Keep waking up every day. Keep mo being motivated. Staying who you are. Staying ten toes. Don't back down. And just be confident. Mm. I this is for uh, Cam. Can you talk a little bit? Let's wait till they leave. Sure, sure. Yes, um, then, only players right now. Sure. Thank you. Sorry about that. If this is for Angel. Uh, can I? Uh, same question for Angel and, and all three of you. What What is the impact of the LSU Iowa rivalry on women's basketball? Let's start with Angel. Thank you. Um, I think it's just great for the sport. Just being able to be. Sound like that's all. Sound like She's that's a victim. All. She got humbled. She's a victim now. What do you think about that, Q? Do, do you think that she's a victim? She Did she ever say she was a victim? She's not blaming the loss exactly. because of all the stuff she got going on. She's not blaming the loss because she got injured and she rolled her ankle on a camera. She never said none of that. That's what most people do when, when they have an excuse. They say that's yeah, not, my, she, my, she, my excuse is my excuse isn't my excuse. Yeah, but she never said that because someone asked who, who, her in the who does say that? prior. She did say I'm gonna bring up uh, Pan Africanism too in a minute. Go ahead, John. Reporter was like, "Did you hurting your ankle that um, hurt you?" She's like, "No, just, I did roll my ankle, but I can't use that as an excuse." She's right. She can't. Hmm. She did the honestly. Kaylin did. Kaylin outworked them. Other players on LSU's team did horrible. It's not really her hmm. fault. And I player she probably thinks it's her fault but it's not her fault really all in all if you want to be honest it's the coach's fault why is it the coach's well, fault because because she has five seven that that bitch look like a damn cupcake that little white chick look like a cupcake that's a fuck you short and fat talking and about six, oh who are you talking about the, for lsu the little white girl with the pigtails that was Haley. Kaylin was that was busting her ass all night. Her name is um like Haley, Haley Lilith. Haley. Mm -hmm. It's called Haley. Haley. That's coach's fault. Why you got this five seven bitch on Caitlyn that's shooting her lights out all fucking game long? I guess what's her name? Flage. Yeah. Flage Flage held her four times. Caitlyn didn't do shit. Mm. Yeah, I think that they yeah coach should have definitely put Flage on her. But I she think didn't do that it to the Haley. she didn't do it to the fourth quarter and and she was. Y'all actually shit. interested in this? Like y'all actually? No, it's this? because it, it's because like I'm not gonna lie. I don't even. It, it was a good game. I'm not even. The past two games have been good compared to even the. Me, I've been watching the men's league too, and the I, men's I, league kind I of. Haven't, I haven't watched one men's college basketball game. Yeah, it's not even. It's <laughs> yes, not even. I haven't watched one. I, I started watching girls when um Caitlin and then that Juju chick from USC start playing, and then yeah. I. I, I like if you if you were born in the eighties, you kept up with Don Staley, Stroll Swoops, Rebecca Lobo, all no, them. Like, oh no, you yes, did. no, you like, did like not. The, 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 yes, yes, because they were the they were the USA team. They were, no, no, they were the, no. the only team. name no. we know is Cheryl Swoops. Stop. Counting. No way. No, we know yes, Cheryl. We know Don. We know Rebecca Lobo. We know Lisa Leslie. We know all them. But you no, Cheryl, bro, Cheryl, no. Cheryl, 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 I was born in the eighties. I was. Too. Nobody knows oh. anything. Anti, out of all them names, what's the only name you know? Lisa Leslie and Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Lisa Swoops, Leslie was the it. first you person to dunk in the, NBA, in the WNBA. I remember it was like she barely got in there. Antoine, Anton, black women are never going to miss an opportunity to play the victim. <laughs> let's just let's let the cat out of the bag. We've all been in an argument with our wife or our significant other. They are straight up gangsters telling you where you could go and what you could do. And then the next minute, when they when they realized they was wrong, they crying. You know what I'm saying? And this is Angel Reese. She was the big bad villain all this time. We beat the white girl. They thought they oh they want to walk out. They want to not show nah. up. To the anthem. Let's not forget we hate America, right? This is the thing. When I was playing college sports, there was one thing that stood out to me that might not have stood out to the rest of the Negroes. My coach, I love the fact that I had a white coach who was a racist, okay? Because when 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 some people would start acting ghetto, he would say, have some damn class. You know what having class means? Having class is, means being respectful in 
victory, being humble in victory and humble in defeat. Angel Reese mm. was not humble in victory. So she had to be humbled by Caitlin Clark. Mm. It was a lot of bad energy that was going against LSU from the very beginning. When you start disrespecting your country, y'all, people don't understand the power of like fan fandom energy in a room. No, you already brother. put a bad energy in a room for yourself when you didn't respect the national anthem. You didn't respect the country that has given you such a great opportunity. Go mm. play in Jamaica and see mm. if you have what you have as a college basketball player in America. The Can girl is disrespectful. Something? Just one second. She's disrespectful. She's mm. classless. And she's a she's a hoochie. <laughs> and she got mm. humble. And, and I tell everybody, you know who gives the best? <laughs> do, do you know who the best winner is on earth? Floyd Mayweather. Because Floyd Mayweather has a pre-prepared, he has a prepared uh, uh, victory speech. He was a hell of a fighter. You know, I was a better yeah, he man do say that. He do you know say what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what Angel Reese should have said. She should have kept it short and sweet. They were the better team tonight. I tip my hat to them. Thank y'all for coming out that. and supporting women. She said it after she cried. She made a bunch of like indirect uh, attempts at gaining people's sympathy. No, uh, they man. asked her questions and she she responded to their questions. And let's Why go back she was to up there crying. She lost the game. Were you ever an athlete? No. Why I keep asking people okay. like that? You like trying to. I was an athlete. Okay, and I because... lost games and I won. And did you cry at any of the games that you've lost? Not, not, not when I acted like Angel Reese. Okay, okay. Let, let me let me address something regarding. I it up. Can I address something? Why they missed the um the national anthem? So they said that they changed up something regarding the pregame routine, and this is what the coach said. It was I very. I was there. I may, was may there. I no may I finish, sir, 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 sir. I let you finish. Thank you very much. Um, she said it no, was. No, you asked me. Have you ever played sports? Have you ever played sports? If you've played sports, you know that what you about. Oh, to say no, no, no. You got to let her finish. You got to let her get her okay, shit off. Her I have. I have they a direct said, response to what they, she's about to say. Said, okay. You got to let her the finish. Coach said, the coach said it was unintentional. Unintentional. I'm reading the um interview. She didn't know when the anthem would be played because they changed up the pregame routine. It involved them leaving the court 12 minutes before tip off. Honestly, I did not know the national anthem was playing while we were in the um the the what's it called? So they didn't know. They left the court. Well, that's wrong. That's, that's wrong. So, uh, so I guess they that's didn't wrong. let people. Go ahead. Hold on, y'all gotta, gotta let her finish. But if she's wrong, there was a reporter that's been reporting on these girls for three years, and they never go out. They never. This ain't the only time it happened. So you're wrong, and the coach lied. <laughs> the coach lied about what? Them, them not. Channel. Them not actually. Being, being they, out they, there. They, they don't go out, and the men's foot and the men's football team don't do it either. Yeah, you know why? Because it's a bunch of Negroes on the team. Black Lives Matter. That's why. Of, the <laughs> coach is classless. A bunch of hood from is, New Orleans. The coach is classless, <laughs> and the team is classless. And when they should be working on working on a on a on a art basketball, they worried about being social activists. They did you set see what Angel did to, Did you see what Angel did? Caitlin was shooting her little free throws, and Angel goes to put her crown. On the seat while she was shooting her free throws. Why she do that? Why she mess with that poor white woman? Oh the, my the, big, the bigger <laughs> issue is why do no, black wait, women when LeBron when LeBron likes to take the powder and go like this, it's okay. When no, what does it have to do with anything? Anything? what does it have to do with anybody else? Like he ain't they don't got he does that every game. They don't got okay. nothing to do with nobody else. Make, make that Le, makes Le, sense. Le, like LeBron is a more legitimate do. king than angel, and he don't bring no damn crown to the game, bro. Come on. Like the bigger problem is Go ahead. Why are you defending this classless hoochie behavior, bro? That's the I'm bigger not, issue. Because they're both double I'm minorities. Not, I think you guys are taking what she does outside. We're talking about basketball. We're talking about what she did at the game. We're no, this we're is not. we're talking about the interview itself. So let's okay, separate. But the, if, let's separate the no, two. No, we're fellas. not going to do that. We're not okay. doing that because if a basketball player slap his wife at his house. He going to lose his job on the court. We going, okay. y'all want to be equal? Y'all going to get this equal work. If you are okay. a man and you're a basketball player, whatever you do outside the court, Kobe mm -hmm. Bryant being in a hotel room with that lady didn't have nothing to do with basketball. 
it okay. still yeah. came onto the it came onto the also, court. So okay, they don't like the rules of the game, Anton. Check this out, Anton. My homeboy just sent me this. You said no one cares about women's sports. They said this game last night was watched more than the NBA Finals, the World Series, the Orange Bowl, the Big Ten Championship game, the Cotton no, Bowl. I don't know. Thursday night that. football, like I said, I said that earlier. LSU versus. I said that Versus shut down numbers, like it was a good game. Iowa. It looked up to its high. Yeah, I said that earlier. This was the most watched game in collegiate games. So uh, let me say something. Well, you can share my screen. He just sent me a text message. No, nah, I got it. I'm looking at it. Joe Palumbo, I think it's the most watched college basketball game ever on ESPN platforms. That's what yep. it says. Yeah, ain't uh, nobody trying to watch uh, layups. It was 12.3 million viewers, bro. Mm-hmm. The reason why they watch it is because Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark is draining threes Less from them at half court. She, like yeah, I, I think that I think that part of the reason for it is, We've um, never I mean, they, they're making they're making I mean smartly and they're doing it correctly. They're learning how to promote um, women's basketball by creating villains, right? They got to create yeah, a villain. Vi uh, they got to create. Yeah, they do. They got to create a villain, they and they got. This is what's happen. I've told. All my people, this the, the, the WNBA is going to ruin all these girls' career. They're going to go to the WNBA, and we're not going to hear from them again. Yeah, but we That's don't care about crying. that. She crying about that contract that she about but to go we, out. We, we, we don't care about that. But Anton is right, though. Let's just be honest. Like even That's the problem. Um, y'all don't care about nothing. No, we we don't care about the WNBA. But let's just be honest. Um, it was a, a news news report that went out, and they said that they were like ratchet hoodlums. Um, I think the coach addressed it. I'm like, wait, why? They are. But I, on, I think that I think it? that I think that again, they they doing a good job of listen. They're exactly. leveraging every fucking platform in order to promote this. They talk. They got Shannon Sharp talking about it. They got mm -hmm. Gilbert Arenas and and Gil's Arena talking about it. They got Stephen A. Smith talking about it and hyping it up. And that's good. I think it's good for 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 them and it's good for the sport. Now, yeah. Let's be real. That's one game, right? Dope game, great ratings. I give them all of they, they props and everything like that. Women's basketball is fucking trash, bro. It is. Women it's don't even sport. watch women's basketball. The only reason they watch the game is because they hood rap representative Angel Reese was playing. If, if at real. the highest level, if at the highest level, listen, I tried to watch the All-Star game. Oh, my God. That junk was, was so horrible. If at the boring. highest level that that shit is just absolutely unwatchable, and I get it, listen, Kaylin Clark, Angel Reese, whatever, dope, I, I'm with it. If at the highest level that shit is trash, it's trash. It's just trash, in my opinion. It's not entertaining at all, but I know that the only reason black women around the globe were watching that game is because Angel Reese gets on TikTok in that ghetto and black women gravitate to degeneracy. They so were there for basketball. So they were there for the frontal. So and question, so, why were black men like yourself watching the game then? I didn't watch that crap. So you didn't watch the game last night? No. No, so my, no self-respecting man did. I, I was watching it so I could see <laughs> that. Wait, how did you watch the game last night? Because I wanted to see that white woman bust Angel Reese's ass. That's hey. What <laughs> hey, black men watched it just to see Angel Reese get checked. Get her ass whooped. That's why we. That's really it. why they watched it. 